Well, yes, margaritas are certainly the drink of choice for Cinco de Mayo, but in case tequila hasn't treated you well in the past, uh, our next guest has the solution. Wine expert Natalie McLean from Canada's largest wine review site, NatalieMcLean.com, is here with some perfect wine pairings with Mexican-inspired cuisine. Happy Hola. Cinco de Mayo. Yes. Hola. All right. Great to see you as always. Great uh, to Going to start on the far side? Absolutely. We've okay. got guacamole mm -hmm. and ceviche. Help yourself there, Jeff. All right. Um, these dishes are traditional home-style cooking Mexican dishes from uh, Playa Cabana, which um, specifically the restaurant is Cocina Economica. And I love what they've prepared here. So we've got some tostadas. Mm -hmm. some traditional home-baked in the oven uh, corn and what we're going to do is pair it up with we could pair it up with that sparkling but we're gonna go right to the Zavina Esmeralda which is a very yep. aromatic sort of floral white that I think goes with spice and, and the different flavors that come through in Mexican dishes you Perfect. like that that's yeah. great you can just smile yeah. I'll keep talking <laughs> you eat <laughs> and we'll keep going I do not have a tough job here in no, Cinco de Mayo it's no. awesome isn't it yeah. so when we come to think about the flavors of Mexican food we're thinking mm -hmm. lime and chili Chili's, chipotle, um, some braised onion broth, that sort of thing. So we mm -hmm. want floral aromatic whites. We don't want whites with a lot of oak and heavy alcohol and that sort of, you know, I always think um, heat uh, means meets sweet okay. and that tames the heat of the spices. Now what we're tasting here is not that spicy, but in the middle there um, is uh, pescado, which is fish and it's okay. in a traditional wrap and some, some great sauce there as well. So I would go again with the sparkling wines from Rafino or Santa Margarita or some of these aromatic whites. The Vina Esmeralda has a rosé, that's always a good option. I'll give you a small taste of that as we keep moving along here. Mm -hmm. So, in the middle, we've got tostado. I've got my cue cards here because the ingredients are just mouth-watering themselves. This is roasted chicken with braised onion in a chipotle sauce. And we start to Very get nice. into, yes, get in there. Let me uh, try a bit of that. You just keep going. I now. will, I will. Wonderful job. Absolutely. Yeah. And I've got some Mexican wines mm. in the center. We don't get a lot of Mexican wines here in Ontario or Canada. Right. Not that there's a wall or anything, but anyway, couldn't resist that. Um, mm. So, El Cito, though, is one of the great ones we get. Mm. And uh, it deals with, or makes wines wines mostly from traditional Italian grapes like Nebbiolo or Syrah. So this is a big red going mm -hmm. with your tostado, your spices. Because that's got, yeah, a little kick to it. A little bit more yeah. kick to it, yeah. See, we're drinking and we're eating up here. We're mm -hmm. going to <laughs> from light to more full-bodied, from mild to spicier, and right. that's what you want to do for pairings. Mm -hmm. So let's keep going. We've got a Torres, um, mm -hmm. a Chilean wine, and more sort of the Latino theme. Here we've got um, lamb. We've got lamb, braised lamb. And I, if you can get in there, you've got another sure, fork here. Yeah, you're very dedicated, Jeff. Uh, you're very thorough. I do thorough. what I can. I give and I give for this yeah, show, I, I tell you. For the yeah. people. Because um, we want your reaction shot now. <laughs> so again, this is a traditional salsa verde, meaning green mm -hmm. sauce. So you've, you've got that lime element. You've got the you know, yeah. peppers and onions. And now you need a more robust red. But again, not one that's heavy in the oak or alcohol. That is perfect. Good. Really, really good. Can we just awesome. move to the cake finally? <laughs> yes, before absolutely. We, um, you come around here and I'll yeah. switch sides with you. Tell this us a bit about this. The impossible cake. I love mm -hmm. the backstory on this. So when they make it, Mm -hmm. They've got the white cake layer, and then the chocolate is on top. Yeah. But through the magic of science and cooking, the chocolate sinks to the bottom in the oven, and so you've got this glorious um, chocolatey infusion. And we've got oh, wow. Oh yes, that works. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even need the brandy. I oh, think, but try but, it yeah, just okay. for the people. Just, just, go ahead. This is the number one selling brandy in in Mexico, Torres brandy. But we have it here in Ontario as mm -hmm. well. Lots of uh, great full-bodied wines. They all work. Another perfect pairing from our friend Natalie McLean. Natalie, have a great Cinco de Mayo. All Thank right, you. you too, Jeff. All Cheers. Right. Cheers. Hold on.